afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz, and I'm excited to talk to you today about the magical world of concrete. Specifically, we're going to be talking about concrete durability versus asphalt. Now, not one of my most favorite topics to talk about. And, you know, I, uh, I was on a job site the other day, uh, and uh, I'd said, you know, somebody asked me, you know, which do I prefer? And I said, well, you know, I, I, I hate asphalt. I'm not a big fan of it. I think it's crap. And that person replied, well, it, it's just the material, you know, we're all trying to do the same thing. And, you know, I agree, but, you know, there's also the part of it that, um, you know, healthy competition always rises everybody up uh, to meet the demand. Uh, but more than that, asphalt, to me, long term is not the best material. And you don't have to believe, you don't have to take my word for it. If you have an asphalt road outside of your house, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, one of the greatest things about asphalt, it has built in obsolescence, which means we're always going to require more work on that asphalt road because it's going to fall apart in one year to three years to maybe five years. Um, or if it's not used, maybe not long, maybe a little longer than that. But, you know, one of the things that we see from asphalt, and, you know, we get a lot of flack in the concrete industry that concrete starts with the C, that's why it cracks. <laughs> Haley didn't find that joke funny at yeah. all. So, um, the, the difference being uh, between asphalt and concrete, which I find funny, is that in a given area, you'll find that asphalt cracks, especially, it's really just asphalt pavements because you can't make a building out of asphalt. Um, but when it comes to flexible pavement, which is asphalt pavement, which compared to rigid pavement, which is concrete, you're gonna find that your asphalt pavement is gonna crack up more. And despite the fact that it's flexible, it's also a very soft material. And if we don't have a good subgrade, which oftentimes our subgrades can fall apart due to uh, snow, rain, drying, or just excessive loading, you start seeing your asphalt starting to rut excessively in the road where you see the wheel wells from the traffic going back and forth. And of course you get that, you know, alligator cracking or that, that cracking from within, uh, within the total, you know, matrix all the way to the subsurface and surface. I mean, it just goes through the entire asphalt composite. And when it comes to total durability, I, I just, find it hard to get past that one part uh, uh, or that one comparison between asphalt and concrete because asphalt can't even maintain it, it, its own structural integrity over a long period of time without a good foundation um, and more often than that that foundation is concrete especially with a lot of these federal highways or local highways or excuse me state highways where you see a concrete base and then an asphalt layer goes on top of that now normally you see that cracking stop or that cracking reduce significantly when you have that type of base to it a foundation so it can last longer because the asphalt on its own if that soil heaves or moves or anything the asphalt's going to move with it and of course with that to me once i start seeing that rut once i start seeing those cracks to the point where you've got i mean just you know, inches of deformation or inches of room between the crack, that's a failure of the con or uh, of the flexible pavement to me right off the bat. So when it comes to asphalt durability versus concrete durability, asphalt loses every flipping time. I mean, this is, this is where I'm gonna shut it down. What is the first concrete highway in uh, America? When was it built? I think it was like in the, was it 18, it was either 1819 or 1890, I think it was 1819 in Bellefontaine, Ohio, on Main Street, it was either First Street or Main Street for the courthouse. Now, it's breaking apart, but I mean, it sounds as if, what's, is it 1919? 1919? 1893. 1893. 1893, so how many, can you do the math? How many years is that? It's 100 plus, right? 130? Is that math? 127. Yeah. 127? Okay, I was pretty, that was pretty good math. That was quick math, hey. That's why they call me PhD. Yeah, but come on, you've got a road that's been in place 
for over a hundred years, a concrete road. Please show me an asphalt road that can match that. And then we can start talking concrete versus asphalt durability. Hopefully you learned some. If you got any more questions, let us know. Go concrete! Be